and welcome to Tuesday's Coffee and Card. Let me just check that I am live. I am always good to know that things are happening properly. Ah, would that everything worked that way. Just need to check a couple of things. How is everybody? I hope you are well. It's a really strange day here in South Oxfordshire. Um, just weird. It's like 17 degrees, sort of sunny and very, very windy, um, which is just bizarre. Totally and utterly bizarre. Um, sorry, I'm just having to check one. Hello, Nora. Right. OK. So there's a sale. Ha. <sighs> Tomorrow night, no, t correction, tonight, tonight's the 19th, yes, tonight at 11 o'clock UK time, for 24 hours, every cling stamp in the annual catalogue, other than the host sets, uh, is on sale. It's amazing. 15% um, off, um, cling is are the ones that are red rubber, um, as opposed to the see-through ones. Every single stamp set in the annual catalogue, 15% off from 11 o'clock tonight until 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, if you're on mainland Europe, that's midnight to midnight, but we're not, um, or I'm not. So I thought I was planning something completely different. And then this was announced last night. So I've had to change what I'm doing. So bear with me a little. Um, because it's, yeah, um, the best laid plans. For once I was organised and now I'm not. And that's fine. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera down. I'm just going to remind everyone to uh, subscribe if you don't already, bottom right hand corner. And if along the way you like the video and what I'm doing, please hit the like button and um, share. Always good. So I'm going to flip the camera down. Let me just get that out of the way because that's in the way. And picture in picture. Can I have? Thank you. So um, I had a very strange thing. Hello, Lorna. I had a very strange thing happen to me earlier. I had a Zoom call with our estate agent um, who is currently failing to actually exchange on the house. Hello, Margaret. Um, I got your email. Thank you. Um, so we had a Zoom call, which I was hosting. And because I'd already set up this call or this Zoom, my computer didn't like the idea of um, having a camera for the Zoom call. So that was fun. So he just got to look at my usual profile picture, which was fine. Hello, Pam. So I am going to be using the um, hand penned papers. Oh, they're not called hand penned. What are they called? Oh, they are hand penned. Um, but I'm not using the hand penned stamp set. I'm using a stamp set that I keep looking at and then forgetting to use. So I'm using henna hearts. Um, I haven't really prepped, just saying. Um, but yes, so I'm going to use han uh, henna hearts and light-hearted lines, because Henna Hearts has no words. Um, light-hearted lines obviously does. Uh, and they are both the Kling stamp set. So these are both in the sale as of 11 o'clock this evening or tonight, depending on how you look at it. Hello, Leslie. So I've done a couple of mock-ups, but I used sepia colours because why wouldn't I? And then I decided I was going to use hand penned. Um, this was all going on while I was on a call with the estate agents. Anyway, so I thought I would start by just showing you the papers. So these are the right side and they are beautiful line drawings with loose colour. Morning, Claire. Um, so really pretty. And I thought for the henna hearts, a bit of loose in the background might not come amiss, but I'm actually going to use the reverse side. Um, which are beautiful. I mean, they are just lovely. These are what I would call a solid. Um, and the two that I'm going to be using are these two. Um, 
so I'm going to start with this one, which is Pale Papaya. I have got a Pale Papaya card base. Morning B, hello Barbara. They are very pretty papers, Leslie, and I have rather too many of them. So another good reason for me to use them. Uh, while I remember, those of you who are customers, um, during October, if you place an order for £45 or more, uh, for fee each £45, you get to pick one of my um, one of my additional celebration items. Um, and that's in addition to the usual product gift if you use the host code, etc, etc. Uh, and I'm using £45 for all of them. I really can't get into the whole, are they a £90 set or are they uh, the host set? I, if it's £45, you can have a any one of my um, excess celebration items. The only thing I would say is that I am cutting the 12 by 12 paper in half so that it keeps the cost down. S Hello, Wendy. Sorry, it's soggy in Swansea. Um, the, the challenge we've got is um, that we've been blown off our feet. Seeing we have a team meeting. We, are, we almost do have a team meeting, Barbara, but not everybody on the call is a member of the team, just quite a lot of you, which is lovely. So, pale papaya on pale papaya, except I am going to put cinnamon cider between the two. This is in the um, the colours for the paper, so I thought that would work well. Um, I'm using white card, which I need to grab a scrap of. That looks scrap-like, as in it's not a full sheet. Um, this is going to be so say this is quite experimental because I've not really used this stamp set. Um, so I'm going to stamp in cinnamon cider. Um, this actually works quite nicely for henna because henna does go sort of somewhere between soft suede and cinnamon cider. So I'm comfortable using cinnamon cider as my true henna. Uh, and then I'm going to do one that is not in henna colours. Uh, so I'm just going to ink that up very well um, and stamp it down. I am stamping it sort of into the card because I do want to die cut this. There aren't dies for the stamp set and even I am not going to fussy cut this because it is quite an intricate pattern. Um, so I'm not. I'm just going to get a, a stitched rectangle. Uh, I just spent five minutes trying to find my stitched rectangle only to discover that I put them under stitched and not rectangle because they are stitched rectangles but the sap the dies that I've got are rectangle stitched dies because they are the ones that they're old basically so this is our um, image you can go mad and color it all I am not putting you through that either but you can see why fussy cutting would be quite difficult and time consuming because we've got all these curly cues so I'm not going to do it it's not going to happen um, as I say do remember to do a bit of liking along the way so I've got my pale papaya blends and I'm going to start with the darker of the two and I have done a bit of a mock-up in that I've used other colours for one um, so I'm going to just pull up the one that I've done other colours for so that I can use it as my guide. So all I'm going to do is go round the outside of my uh, henna with the dark pale papaya. And I'm basically doing dark pale papaya around everything. So let me just bring that up so you can see a bit better. So literally just going around the outside. So, so who is going to make the most of the 15% off tonight and tomorrow because I know I will be having a look and seeing what I fancy I will be sending out a um, newsletter to all my newsletter subscribers um, with a list of all of the stamps that are included there'll be a PDF of that um, but it is a great opportunity to stock up. And if you spend, now I should be able to work this out in my head, but I'm not going to be able to, just saying. Um, if you buy two or three stamp sets, depends on the cost, of course, you almost get free shipping. 
So you could look at it that way. If it was 10% off, if you, if you got uh, just under £50 worth of stamps, you would be basically getting... When is the sale? Um, it was in... To, it, it's tonight. So for you, Barbara, because you're in Germany, it will start at midnight for 24 hours. There's information on it in on the demo site. came out yesterday afternoon. Well, late evening. Um, so, yeah, you can see it on the demo site. Any cling stamp sets, not photopolymer, with the exception of the host sets, which are already subsidised, 15% um, off across the board. I'm not doing a great job of colouring these inside the line, just saying. Um, but, hey, it'll be good enough. Uh, that... But I thought it would be a good opportunity to have a look at some stamps that I haven't used. Um, as I say, I had planned what I was going to be using. And then they decided to have a sale. So I've changed my mind because I was going to be doing Christmas. Actually, no, I wasn't. I was going to be doing autumn. What am I talking about? I was going to be doing autumn. But yes, so who's who's going to make the most of it? Hello, Jan from Florida. Um... I know it's really hot in Florida because I was on a call last night with someone from a uh, head office in Utah who has just come back from Florida. And I gather it was about 90 degrees last week, which would be lovely. Now, what he did say is that he was surprised it was so hot uh, in November, yet it was November, uh, sorry, October. It was November three years ago that we had on stage there. I have to pass, got an order coming today. Yay! I've got a couple of orders that are on their way, um, but are currently, one in particular, is currently having a little bit of a holiday at Stamford La Hope. Uh, and I keep being told it's going to arrive tomorrow, and tomorrow, as we know, never comes. So hopefully it will actually move today. That would be my hope anyway. But these aren't orders for me. These are orders for customers. So it is slightly frustrating. But that'll be customs for you. It's not UPS. It's customs. Good old Brexit. Don't get me started on that. But um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, what else do I need to put in in red? I want to do in red. This isn't red. This is pale papaya. Uh, the the mock-up that I did is in red, which is why I'm thinking red. Because this isn't that. I'm looking at red and saying, and but using pale papaya. <sighs> Happy days. Uh, I think that's everything that I need in the dark. 73 degrees and it's 6.15 in the morning. I don't think I want to know that. Hi, Jan. Other Jan. Janice. Right, so this is the pale papaya, which I'm going to be a bit more slapdash with. Um, and just to remind you, I stamped in cinnamon cider. If you leave classic ink to dry really well, which this isn't yet, uh, you will be able to use your blends over the top. Um, so do just bear that in mind. Basically, you want a water-based ink for your blends. You don't want hybrids or anything like that. Um, I haven't tried it with um, the Tim Holtz inks, but I have a suspicion that it wouldn't work purely because they are a hybrid. Um, but that's just my thoughts on that. So this bit goes quicker because they're not such small images. She says going into very small images. So yes, there will be a newsletter coming out after this live. I was halfway through preparing it when I had to start my call with the estate agents. Gotta love an estate agent. Um, so it's all a bit, all a bit delayed. 
Right, so that needs to be in, that needs to be in, that needs to be in, that needs to be in. I think that's about everything I need. Oh, those can be pale papaya. Right, so I'm going to grab my stitched rectangles. <laughs> yeah, we can exchange the nice weather for rain. I have just have just the same. Uh, Pam, it's that your parcel is in the same parcel as mine, uh, is in the same container as mine. So as soon as yours moves, mine will move and vice versa. Um, it's not been two weeks. It's been two weeks since shipping, but not two weeks at Stamford yet. Um, it was Monday. Certainly mine arrived in mon on Monday. Um, so we're a little way off two weeks. Uh, but I had a long conversation with them, with um, UPS yesterday. Uh, so I shared my views with them. Uh, so there will be no question, but they understand what they've got to do. It's just whether they do it. But um, And I have also spoken with DS, so they're doing what they can as well. Um, and they do know that there is a container that has stalled. I'm assuming that somewhere not a, a non-stamping up parcel is in there that we're waiting for paperwork on, which seems to be the problem. Uh, generally. Right. Oh, sorry. My paper's just fallen over and it's in, it's on polythene, so I don't want to stack, tread on it and um, do a banana across the floor. Right. So mini cut and emboss. Plates. Really ought to do a new bottom plate. Well, a new top plate and change my top plate and a new get a new top plate right so I'm going to be cutting this and then cutting it down um, because oh I know what I must do today so one of my customers who ordered my last um, large creativity in a box uh, is on holiday until tomorrow so I said I would post her parcel today so I really need to post her parcel today because she'll be back tomorrow. So, uh, yes, I told her I would post it out when I knew she was going to be back so that she didn't have to worry about it sitting on the doorstep and at the moment being blown away. So, that's... So, what I'm going to do, as you can see, I've cut my rectangle and I'm going to cut this down. I do this quite often. Um, and what you do is you just move your die and you can feel when the teeth for the stitching just grabs the die. Um, and that means you can then just pop it down and feed it through again and it's going to line up. And I do this all the time. I change the size of my dies um, because I can. You don't need to go all the way through, you just need to make sure you've got that end. Um, and that's how it comes out and you just pull it apart. So just remember you can change the size of your rectangles. So let me pop that away for the moment. I will probably need it back again momentarily, but not yet. Right, so we're on pale papaya. I've got everything I need up here. I do need to choose a sentiment. Um, and... I think I might just go friends forever because it's small. Uh, oh, except friends forever is part of something else. That's fine. We'll do friends forever and I will show you how to do just part of that as well. So I haven't stuck all of the labels on, as you can see. That's not something I usually do. I usually, the moment I use one stamp, I put the labels on all of them. Um, just as a sort of thing to make sure I do put the labels on all of them. But, uh, yes. And I need to have a tidy up in my in my studio. It's getting untidy again. Uh, what's this about a sale tonight? It is um, at 11 o'clock tonight, Catherine. Every cling stamp set in the annual catalogue for, for a day. So for 24 hours... Um, but because we're we're governed by the time in Germany, so for us it's 11 o'clock um, 
at night. So for 24 hours, every cling stamp set, which are the rubber ones, other than the um, host sets, 15% off. So if there are any annual stamps, and there are Christmas stamps in the annual catalogue, then you can... Um, Bye, Jan. Have a nice day in Florida. Um, so, yes, 15% off until 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So, yeah. Always good. Right. So, so yes, 15% off. Woohoo! I'm going to see if I can stamp Forever Friends, which is here, um, on this strip of paper. So what I'm going to do is try to just ink up the bottom. And because I'm only using a strip of paper, it doesn't matter if I do catch the with me because that will be off the strip. And I'm going to go a bit into the end of this strip. This is just a strip from cutting down for card blanks or uh, mats rather. So yay friends forever so yes hence i'm using stamp sets that i wasn't intending to use i do love it when these things are announced late not late but you know i had actually planned for once in my sweet life i had actually planned right so pearl papaya card base cinnamon cider mat i'm going to trim this down um i had already cut this to my standard size so i'm just going to trim it down i'm going to trim off a quarter of an inch each side so this is going to be smaller than my usual second layer and i'm also going to introduce some ribbon because i can um I'm using my stamp and seal sparingly because at Stamford La Hope there are 10 refills. <sighs> so I will be getting refills, but this is my last one. I have only just put it in, so it's fine. Uh, but I, <laughs> I need my refills. Oh, I've got to film my next class so I could deal with some adhesive right okay so I'm going to use the um the this what do we call it we call it pearl papyrus and white woven ribbon which I think is in the peach suite I might be wrong but I think it's in the peach suite in the annual catalogue it's certainly in the annual catalogue so that is that uh, and I'm just going to do my usual thing of tucking it round the back. I'm going to have this up here. I might actually colour that in. Um, and then my forever friend will be down here. Um, so yes, I'm going to colour that in with the pale papaya. It just looks a little bare. Actually, I'm going to use the big end. Use the big end. It will be quicker. My second card is going to be slightly different i mean it's going to be different colors but i'm going to do something slightly different Ooh, i've just had a thought actually it may be quite a bit different just saying that's better it looked a bit black um oh what's the word i'm looking for it looked not bare it looked stark that's the word i'm looking for right so i'm going to pop my ribbon onto the back of my card with as ever seal plus if you've watched me ever you'll know i like my seal plus for ribbon i also like it when it runs thank you now normally i would line that up with the grid lines but there are dots on this paper and i don't know whether they're straight or not but what i do know is that well they are straight um, what I know is that I need to line up against those, not against my grid lines, because otherwise if my grid lines are slightly out, 
or my paper is slightly not square to itself, I'm going to be transfixed on the ribbon being crooked around the paper as opposed to being crooked on the piece of card. I hope that made sense. It didn't make sense in my head, so I'm doubting that it did actually make sense. Um, right, I'm just going to put some Seal Plus on my ribbon again because that gives it a good amount to stick to. It kind of sandwiches it. And that's going to go on. Yes, it is the right way up. That's going to go on there. And then, put the other lid on. This is going to go on dimensionals. So it must be at least two years ago because it was at a WI meeting and it definitely wasn't in the winter. Uh, we had someone come to our local WI and do henna and we all had a go at doing our own henna which I have to say was great fun. Um, what was really interesting is she was telling us all about the different types of henna and that often, unfortunately, people use... Ooh, ooh, I like... Mm. No, going up here. Going up here and I'm going to offset. Um, Quite often people use the wrong henna, as in you go somewhere and they use the wrong henna and it can burn. Um, you need to make sure you know your henna artist and that they use good henna. Otherwise you can end up with major injuries. So that's going to go there and then I'm going to bring in some... Uh, genial gems because these are pale papaya. It's almost like it was planned even though it wasn't. Two is probably enough. Yeah, there's nothing quite like being on the phone with your estate agent and trying to sort out your card, uh, your Facebook, not Facebook, YouTube live at the same time. So that's going to go down. Now I'm going to balance it off with the top left. I'm going to come down to bottom right. It's very slightly crooked, but I'll just about live with that. So I'm going to use some of my genial gems. I'm going to probably use five. Um, you know I like my odd numbers. Here, Mum. Up you come. Thank you. So two down there. I want to bring the view back up. So... One tucked under there. We'll have a little one up here. And I need one more. I'm, I'm going to stick on here. It's suddenly going to become an expensive card because I'm going to stick one of these on here. It probably will go through the post okay because I've stuck it so it's over a gap, not over the dimensional. So when it goes through the... Um, the width thing on the at uh, the post office it should squish down uh, and obviously we need to put a liner in and there is a stamp there's a little baby stamp just there that I'm going to use to just bring the outside of the card in I'm gonna go cinnamon cider again And just pop this down in the corner here. I'll bring it up in a moment. So we've got our little cinnamon cider curly cue in the corner. So I'm going to pop that on the inside. And then our first card is done. Woohoo! Second card will not take as long. Not that this took a huge amount of time because it's we've only been going for half an hour. So, half an hour for a card isn't a huge amount of time. I've got to make a card. I must make a note for myself. I've got to make a card for a 60th birthday present, a uh, uh, birthday party that I'm going to on Saturday. I say, I'm going. Martin and I are both going. Um, 
as ever these days, someone we haven't seen for quite a while because of COVID. You just come back from South End this morning, have you, B? Which is going to be a city. That was horrific, just saying. Awful. Um, dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. Right, did I clean that? I think I did. Okay, I'm going to switch this stamp for a different one. <laughs> you just woke up, did you, Barbara? Hello, Heidi. So this is our first card. So very pale, very subtle, um, using the henna hearts, which, as I say, I've been sort of playing with them, not in anger, not that I'm playing with them in anger, but not playing with them properly for a while and never quite got round to doing anything really with them. So I thought I should, as they are on sale, she said quietly, not Right, so I want this one now, and we're going to change our colour. So we're going Misty Moonlight and Pool Party. So Misty Moonlight and Pool Party. And I need, no, I don't need soft suede. Don't know why I've got soft suede out. Uh, that's what I need. Misty Moonlight and pool party and from the mini catalogue I've got the what do we call it striped grey grain ribbon which is in pool party and white stripe so I'm going to use that thank you Lorna I'm glad you like the card I think we're all very well thank you Heidi we're we're well I certainly am excited for the fact that we've got a sale on stamps um but that's just me right so I'm going to clear the decks a wee bit don't need the ribbon for the moment don't need the pale papaya blends at all right so pool party misty moonlight scrap of white so this is the heart that is the other stamp in this set. So it's this one, it's a mottled heart. And I thought I would, I don't know if this is gonna work because I've not tried this. I did try a different version of this. Um, in fact, I just want to get a scrap scrap and just, I think I'm going to go second generation. So I'm gonna ink this up going to ink it up well and then let's get this out from underneath because it's got cuts in it stamp off pop that under there bring my scrap in <sighs> just make sure that, that is well huffed and stamp why is it that most people I can put at in their name and it comes up Don't know why Catherine's doesn't work. Because she's signed in, because she's here. But I don't know is the answer to that question. Should happen. Um, so I'm going to take this, which I think should be that way up. And I think I'm going to go at a slight angle. I may end up hating it, but who knows. Here we go, folks. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, I like that. I do, I do. Uh, I'm gonna keep this out because I am going to need a sentiment. I'm, mm, that's a bit long. I might go, hmm, hmm, I can't decide which sentiment to use. Hello, Margaret. I'm just staring at this stamp set going, I don't know which one to use. I'm just wondering whether I can get a bigger sentiment on. 
I might try Don't Grow Up, It's a Trap. I could see that with pink, oranges, reds. Oh, that would look lovely. That would look gorgeous. That would really look gorgeous. Right, uh, no, I want this block here. So let's. Um, I might need a wider piece of card than I was intending to use, but that is fine. No, that's not going to be big enough. Right, so I'm going to use this scrap edge here and a post it note because I don't want it's a trap on the outside. So I'm just going to pop my post-it note over it's a trap and I am going to pop my post-it note over my it's a trap. Like that, remove the post-it note, get rid of that because it's ever so inky. Uh, pop this away for the moment. Let's see if I can get this straight. May not be. I can sort it out. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad. Right, OK, so I need to cut this out. Don't need such a big die this time. So I will show you my cutting it down technique again. So I don't need that one. You can see that these are all thrown in randomly. That will work beautifully. So let me just get my snips and chomp this out a bit. Um, I do kind of know what you mean, but it's fine. Oh, except like, oh, no, there was one other stamp set that I could use that's sentiment. Bear with me. I could use inspiring thoughts. That might be better. I might just go, hello. Should we just go, hello? I do know what you mean. So I'll just bring out hello and my baby, a baby block. Right, so I'm going to do my die cutting and then see what we've got left and see what we might want to put on it. So now, the thing with rectangles and any straight edge is, and if you've ever driven too fast over a sleeping policeman, which I hope translates, but a road hump, um, you will know what I mean. If you drive over a sleeping policeman too fast, um, it hurts. Hurts your, sh your suspension, anyway, both yours and your car's. Um, if you go over at the same speed, but at an angle, it doesn't hurt so much. The same is true of die cutting. So if you are cut, die cutting a straight edge, I highly recommend going in at an angle uh, because it just softens the blow a bit. So let's pop that back in there. And again, I'm just going to get my rectangle and I'm going to leave a little bit of gap at the bottom. I'm going to get my rectangle and just pop it through again but I'm only going to go as far as I need to go. I'm not going to go the whole way, just in case I'm slightly out with my stitches. I don't think I am, because they slotted in nicely. So if we get rid of the little bit, yay! We've then got our custom rectangle. So as I say, always look at, I mean, I do this with, with um, punches all the time, as you know. Don't just look at the punch as it is, you look at it as, as it could be. So, 
Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my card base. I'm looking for my paper. And I'm looking for my thing. And I'm looking for my thing. And I do need to think about doing hello, which I might actually just pop down there because there's a space. It's almost like it was planned, but we know it wasn't. So just be very careful not to over ink your stamp when you're going into something that you have just spent quite a while sorting out. And we've got hello. Nice, small, subtle. Thank you, Heidi. Brilliant idea. Right. So now all we need to do is pop, pop it all together. I am going to stamp my curly cue. I'm going to go uh, pool party purely because I have pool party. So I might as well. Uh, I thought I had pool party out. I do. I buried it under inspired thoughts. Inspired thoughts also in the 15% off sale as at 11 o'clock UK time. 12, uh, midnight in Europe and everywhere, pretty much everywhere else will be midnight. Obviously the US, um, I think you do it from um, mountain time and work either way. A bit like we do that for Central European time in the UK. We work either way. Right, so this again I'm going to cut down. And again, I'm going to cut, cut a quarter of an inch off each of two sides. My trimmer desperately needs a clean because I've got fluff all the way down its channel. And if you get fluff in your channel, your blade doesn't cut so nicely. So if your blade starts not cutting well, do just have a look at clearing out your cutting channel. Right, okay, so again, it's a little sad to cover up a nice pattern on your paper, but hey, I, I think I have three packs, so I don't think it's a problem for me. I like to think of pattern paper as having 12 patterns, um, one of each as opposed to six patterns with a b-side that way i get quite happy about using my b-side absolutely heidi you are totally correct um right so my ribbon i'm just going to run across no i'm not don't like that anymore Stripes on stripes, not a great idea. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I am going to go, just go. Actually, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go with this. I'm not going to use a ribbon. It doesn't need a ribbon. It's got stripes. Now we don't have pool party embellishments, but we do have elegant faceted gems. We have pearls. We have all sorts of things that we can use. Right, so I'm gonna go sort of square at the top and leave my gap at the bottom. Your eye quite likes that. What it wouldn't like is that. Plain sheer one. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Hmm, yeah, it's. I just don't know that it's going to add anything. A new blouse, yes, from Sainsbury's. Um, I, it's not going to add anything, Heidi. It's just it, because it's so sheer, it's just going to disappear. So I think there's no need. But yes, I was in our local Sainsbury's. That for those of you who are not in the UK. Uh, Sainsbury's is a supermarket um, so I just happened to walk past it and go actually hubby quite likes a blouse I mean not on him on me um, so yeah hello Karen from New Hampshire right so let's see what I can use so I could use those Ooh, they d they're not the right color but they work 
Ooh, I think I'm out of elegant faceted gems. Good grief. <gasps> Such a thing never happened. I thought I had some out. No, those are brushed dots. <gasps> I finished my elegant faceted gems. No. No. And I don't have any spare. Okay, that's fine. We'll use the in colour jewels. It's fine. I can be brave. I'm going to have to order some more. I've got to put an order in anyway. Because there's 15% off stamps tomorrow. Well, tonight into tomorrow. So I'm going to use the soft succulent ones. Um... The sheer ribbon is pool party, Heidi. It is pool party. That's the only sheer, unless you mean the crinkle, the crinkle seam binding. But I'm quite happy with it as it is. It's fine. Um, so soft succulent goes quite nicely with any of the aqua colours. Um, so all is good and I haven't used any in colour jewels for a while so it's about time I did because I have a few packets of those don't run out of these that much no the white organza one you mean the glitter ribbon you mean this one I'm quite happy with it as it is yeah, this one. I do know which one you mean. Yes, I do now know which one you mean. Um, but I don't think it needs it. It's fine. And I want to just pick up on something else that you suggested. Um, which we've just got time for. Oh, hang on. Let's fold my card and make sure I've got it the right way up. Uh, because when I do my cards, I sometimes end up with a little lip. Um, I do like the little, the gap to be at the back. Um, not at the front. So I do like to have folded my card before I stick my mat on. Now, I'm trying to think trying to think of something and I I think I'm there. I've got a I've got a hopefully quite quick other suggestion. Um, it may not be that quick, but I hope it will be. Um, fingers crossed. Just missed that corner. So let's pop that in there. like that so that's that one so these are the two we have made so far as you say Nora really easy really simple um, right okay unplanned bear with me hopefully I've got what I need ready if not I will very quickly cut it yes love it when a plan together. Got some of what I need ready. Okay. Uh, I need, I need, I need. This is going to be a very quick card thrown together in mere minutes. Yes, yes. Right, okay. And I do need a scrap of that. I'm not going to tell you what that is just yet, but I do need a scrap of that. Oh, actually, no, no, change of plan. No, 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 
No. 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 Right. Okay. I'm going to try and keep this as hidden as possible. So, Knight of Navy card, as in card base. Score once. <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> yes, I'm going to keep it secret. Um, it is something that I think it was Heidi suggested. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm going to go that way first. And then I'm going to go... This is foil. I'm just not going to tell you which one yet because that will slightly give the game away. And I am going to gut it at half an inch. So all I do to gut is I line my the right hand edge up with the half inch or eh, one and a half centimetre ish line. And I'm going to have to snip that a little bit, but it's fine. Oh, that was a quarter of an inch. Oops, that was wrong. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I thought it looked a bit odd. And that'll be why. Because it was a quarter of an inch, not half an inch. Right. Okay. So, I need to just snip there. And here, which I'm going to do off camera so you can't see it. Right, okay, that's going to be interesting to stick, but it's going to be fine. I will manage it somehow. So I'm going to grab my large henna, Knight of Navy card. And we're beginning less is more than ever. Oh, doubling up on the ribbons, yes, absolutely. No, you don't always need to use bling, Heidi, you're absolutely right. Right. Just blow that a bit. I'm very much of the less is more camp. Very much. Right. Well inked stamp. I re-inked my Versamark last week. Again, I'm going to go up a wee bit. I thought it was you, Heidi. So there we go. That is that. And this is one of my favourite colour combinations. Navy and copper is just a match made in heaven. Just going to get my spoon. In my humble opinion, it is a match made in heaven. Now I am going to have to trim my mat down a little but I like to see where everything sits just in case I'm slightly off uh, it gives me the opportunity that when I trim I can trim straight or even so I'm slightly to the right is what I'm thinking um, and I can deal with that when I come to cut this down right so that is covered in copper embossing powder which, as I say, one of my favourite, favourite colour combinations is Knight of Navy and Copper. Trusty cheese board, obviously. So while I'm doing this, by all means, give it a like. Love it. 
bit of alchemy. Just saying. I mean, huh, heaven. It's just, copper and navy is just the bee's knees. Right, okay, so we've got to trim that down. It is a little warped uh, because of the heat, but that's fine. So I'm going to take a full eighth of an inch off of the top. If you can take a full eighth, but you know what I mean. Um, and I'm going to do, hopefully, a tinsy bit either side. When you do small bits, it's when you discover that you have definitely got fluff in your trimmer. Uh, so that needs to be there. I'm actually going to do that on a guillotine because it's far too narrow. So I'm just going to pop this in here and take an itsy titsy witsy tiny weeny teeny bit off because that is just too narrow for a trimmer. I mean it's a hair. Yep, navy and copper, match made in heaven. Right, so I've got this ridiculous quarter inch at the top but it's fine. I say it's at the top. It's a ridiculous quarter of an inch. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add some adhesive to the back. I'm going to be quite generous because it is warped. Um, and in fact, what I'm going to use and be very brave is some tear and tape. Um, I, I say be very brave because tear and tape kind of once it's down, it's down. So this could be a really, truly bad idea. Oops, pulled up when I was pulling off, so let's get rid of that bit. And I'm thinking possibly brushed metallic dots from the mini, but I'm not definite. So I do like to just give a quick burnish on my tear and tape so that I know it's definitely stuck down. I'm deliberately not taking all of the paper off because what I want to do is kind of get things lined up before I go for go, go for broke. So right. So having got one corner down, I should be able to then pull everything else up. Let's just check what's going on on the front. Yep. Okay. So I can then pull up my other bits and be reasonably confident that everything's going to line up. Hello, Breton. Gosh, must be late with you. Right, so there is our embossed piece. Knight of Navy card base. And I'm just going to add that. I'm going to just add some more tear and tape because uh, it will help keep it all flat having done the heat embossing. Hmm. 
I'm not going to worry too much at the top because we've already got some adhesive there. But what I am going to do is that and then just pull all of that up. I'm never too happy about using the liquid glue on the back of foil. Um, I'm not convinced that it sticks quickly enough for me and I am impatient with these things. Now it will need a liner which I have not brought across but I accept it needs a liner. And I am just wondering whether I think I will. Just three. Only going to go for three. There we go. Clear the decks a little. So, not bad. Three car cards in an hour when I only made one of them up at the end. So we've got the ones that were vaguely planned and the one that wasn't. So there we go. Three very, very, very different looking cards from the same stamp set. Um, this was Inspiring Thoughts and this was Light-Hearted Lines. Um, and then obviously that one I'm leaving blank. Um, 10 o'clock at night. About my bedtime. So there we go. That is today. So I hope you have enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I will be back again. I've just realised that something's in the way of... Something's in the way of my camera and it's my light. I apologise. I should have spotted that before. Um, anyway, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hello, Jenny. I'm just finishing up. But in a few minutes, this will be ready to do replay. Um, and the comments take about 24 hours to come live. Uh, but then you'll be able to see the comments. Um, so, yes, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Bottom right hand corner. And certainly for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, the 24 hour cling stamp set sale annual catalogue uh, will start today or tomorrow, depending on where you are on the date line. Um, it is, it's gorgeous. It's, Breton, it's stunning. Um, it's the first time I've used it in anger and it's stunning. Uh, I think I will be using it more. Um, it's very versatile. I hadn't realised quite how versatile it is, but it is. Uh, so, yes, do make the most of the 24-hour sale, 15% off. I'm just going to flip the camera up so I can say goodbye properly, as I always say, as my mother always taught me, say goodbye properly. Um, thank you, Wendy. Um as I say, not what I'd planned, because what I'd planned was to use a photopolymer set from the mini catalogue, uh, and then the sale was announced. <laughs> so it's all been a bit of a, yeah, rush. But I think we got there. So have a fantastic day, everyone. Thank you very much for joining. Um, do share. Sharing is caring. Um, so by all means, please share the video with the world and his mother. Um, and I will see some of you hopefully on Thursday at 3 p.m. UK time. Um, and I've got a series going live this week, which started yesterday evening at 10 o'clock because it was the Achievers, the Trip Achiever, Achievers blog hop. Um, but I'm doing Trick or Treat Week, so little quick projects for um, doing Trick or Treat gift pouchy things. So um, that will be going on until Friday. And then, of course, on Saturday, it will be Simple Stamping Saturday. So lots to look forward to. Have a fantastic day. Absolutely, Heidi. Have fun buying your stamps. And I will see some of you again very soon, I hope. So bye bye. Look after yourselves. And I will see you soon. <laughs>